What's up YouTube, Prince Froze here bringing you a daily dose of Anthem and today we are going to be talking about the complete failure of the VIP demo in Anthem. I got you, let's do this. Before we begin, we are doing an Anthem Standard Edition giveaway. You gotta watch the entire video all the way through, then go to the giveaway link in the description below. So the day has come. The Anthem VIP demo has happened, and I have to say I am very upset on how things turned out. For one, I just want to apologize for what EA has done for us as far as compensation. Out of all the bugs, all they told us to do was wait and at the end of the day say that all javelins are unlocked. For this to be a compensation present to having all javelins unlocked is stupid. There are people out there to this day unable to play the demo who are already paid the game in full. Yet somehow, somehow streamers, bigger content creators, and news outlets were able to play just fine. There were even some people that didn't even pre-order, pay, or have a friend pass and still got access to the game. Even the people that got in still did not have a great experience. There was this thing called rubber banding. In case y'all don't know what that is, this is where you're constantly being pulled back to a previous position after moving. Probably one of the worst things to experience in an open world game like this, where exploration and traveling to a new location is a thing. Constant load times and mini game crashes and bugs should not even be a thing in a demo from a studio like Bioware. I expected so much from them, and this will be my first Bioware game, but it's not even really about them, it's really EA, because out of all of there are people that haven't even shot their guns, let alone fly in this massive open world that Bioware created. What really got me upset and frustrated is that once you're in the game and it's running so smoothly with no bugs, no hiccups, it's one of the most fun and beautiful games out there. You haven't even experienced the full game and without all this mess, it's a great thing to experience. Anthem when run smoothly feels very refreshing and can definitely be a big contender with the upcoming games that's about to come out very flipping soon. But the way EA treated us and how Bioware were unprepared yet talked so highly on us having a good time and trying out the game has left a really unsettling bad taste in my mouth. It still doesn't make sense on why we played such an old build of the game where there is a more optimized version of it. I knew something was up the very first time I heard that. If any of y'all could let me know in the comment section below on why they did that, I would highly appreciate you. But as consumers that pay money for a product, we have the right to complain, especially after not getting what you paid for. All we asked for was a working demo that we could play over the weekend. Some of us got that on the last day. Some of us didn't even get that at all. Some people are giving EA and Bioware a pass because they are working hard on fixing something that shouldn't have even been put out to be purchased. I feel so bamboozled in thinking that paying for access for an old build of a game would equal enjoyment and fun. I told myself that I'm not going to give them the benefit of the doubt, especially after spending a nice chunk of money for a pre-order access that I did not get access to. Thinking about it, I can't even give you proper gameplay footage of myself playing in this video because, well, I couldn't even play the game. But that's besides the point. I'm making this video because a lot of people got screwed over. A lot of people had work and schedule either off or time just to play this game. If you really think about it, people spent money to lose money in just three days. This is just not acceptable to me. I really want to get to the bottom on who fault this is because this cannot happen again to people. If this happened to any of my subscribers, I'm going to be even more upset on this mess. I really want Anthem to succeed, y'all. I created a whole new channel specifically on this game only. I see so much potential in this. But after the start, I can see it's going to be a bumpy road in the beginning, but hopefully everything smooths out and we will be collecting loot together happily. This is Prince Rose. I'm out. Peace, y'all.